a roof vent is designed to allow hot air and moisture to escape the attic. There are several choices in roof ventilation that accomplish this task in different ways. Each type has its pros and cons. In this video, we'll discuss different types of roof ventilation. Number 1. Soffit Vents. These intake vents are installed in the soffit and eaves and help boost the airflow for your vents. These are often used with another of the following vents. This intake is crucial to keep the air flowing well within the attic so that conditions remain stable. Number 2. Ridge Vents. When you see a roof that has a raised ridge and a small gap underneath it, you've spotted a ridge vent. These discrete structures offer plenty of exhaust air flow without being an eyesore. These are very effective and ideal for larger homes, or any home for that matter. Number 3. Gable Vents. These are the panel-like vents that you see attached vertically to the gable, or the triangular part attached between the two sides of a gable roof. This extra support is a good supplement to your ventilation exhaust system. Number 4. Power fans are power attic vents. If you have a gable roof or large area that needs hot air expelled with more force, a power vent is the contraption for you. Sophisticated models won't run all the time either they will be triggered by a thermostat, which means that in the winter the warm air that rises won't leave through the roof and make your house colder. This fan is great for attics that can get very hot in the summer as the power boost expels hot air more quickly than convection methods. Number 5. Wind Turbines Whirlibirds. These function like a power vent but it runs a free energy from the wind. Exterior blades catch the wind on the outside. Just be sure to keep all its parts lubricated so it doesn't make any squeaking sounds. Sometimes these units can also be power driven. Number 6. Off-ridge vents. You'll need several of these for adequate ventilation. Overall, these are a more affordable but less effective substitute for ridge vents. They should be placed near the roof ridge for the highest performance. These aren't powered by wind or power and will rely solely on the hot air rising and exiting through the holes. Number 7. Box Vents. These function much like off-ridge vents that are installed close to the roof ridge so that the hottest air can leave via convection. You'll need a few to get a good exhaust venting effect. For this reason, it's better suited for smaller homes that have less exhaust venting needs. Number 8. Cupola Vents. These decorative vents add a sophisticated design to any static vent like a box vent. This often masks the utilitarian look of the basic box vent and adds a bit of character and charm to your roof.